Yo guys, what's going on? It's Duran. Um, and in this tutorial, I wanted to show you guys a little follow-up to my first Inkly tutorial, just because I found a relatively quick um, and more editable new method of how to get a nice uneven ink bleed. It does produce some different results, um, but I do think it's still a cool effect and I wanted to share it with you guys. Let's get started because um, I don't want this video to be as long as the other one was. I have my design on a separate layer from the background layer, which is fine for this method. Um, I know in the, in the last video you had to merge your design with the background layer, um, but for this one, uh, you don't really have to. First thing you're going to do is duplicate your design uh, with Control J. And by the way, I still have these, uh, this key caster thing up here. So you can see what keys I'm, I'm clicking in case I use a shortcut that you're not familiar with. What you're going to do is duplicate your design and above this, add a threshold layer. So go down here and choose threshold. Uh, so cool. Once you're done with that, go to the duplicated design and filter, blur, gauge, and blur. So you can use really whatever blur you want. I'm going to go pretty extensive on this. So we can get a nice um, ink bleed and go around, I don't know, eight. Um, but yeah, you can play around with that. Um, I suggest you keep the, the blur um, in this kind of range, from, I guess five to 15, something like that, because you can mess around um, more with the threshold than the blur. So if I go into this, th in this threshold adjustment layer um, and I double click this, I can turn up on the level and it's gonna, you know, uh, mess with the ink bleed. So I'm gonna keep it around 140. I think that's nice. Um, so yeah, you already see the ink bleed here, but uh, I wanted to get this uneven effect and I found a really cool way to do it. Uh, so first thing is make a layer mask on this design copy, uh, the one that's blurred. So go and click this button down here, which is gonna create a layer mask. Um, and once, you're, once you've done that, you can hold option and click the thumbnail of the layer mask and that's going to bring you into the layer mask it's going to give um, it's going to appear make your canvas appear um as what's inside of the layer mask so once you're in here um make sure your uh, colors are defaulted you can press d and it'll default them um, so yeah once you're in here go to filter uh render and then go to clouds um yeah so it produces this nice cloud effect um and if i click out of this layer mask we'll see that the blur is spread out um, according to these, uh, this cloud. Um, so what I wanna do is make it bigger and also feather the layer mask. So I'm gonna click um, a hold option and go into the layer mask again, and I'm gonna scale these clouds up a bit. Oops, my bad. Before you do that, make sure that you unlink these layers. So press this little chain in the middle and it's gonna unlink them. Uh, so yeah, now you can go ahead and scale this up. Oh my god, oops. All right, perfect. And I'm also gonna go ahead and mess with the levels of this. Um, so you can go into your image adjustments and then levels. And I wanna bring the, uh, basically make a tighter spread. So bring the black uh, values in and bring the white values in. Um, right, so once you've done that, press okay. And then double click on the layer mask. It's gonna bring up the properties and you can play with the feather and that's basically going to blur um, all these these values. So I'll turn it up to maybe 20, 25. I think that's good. Um, and I'm actually going to scale it up just a little bit more. Um, so I think, that, I think that's nice. Um, and then after that, go ahead and click out of the layer mask. Um, you can see if I zoom in, we get a nice uneven blur on some of these, um, some of the, the lines in this according to the clouds layer mask. And if you want, you could go into the layer mask just by clicking it um, and grab a soft brush. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this soft and paint over the areas in white um, that you want the, the uh, ink bleed to be showing. So if you see if I do that here, we can pretty easily make this, you know, editable and, and show whatever ink bleed uh, wherever. So uh, you can do it like this, or if you want, you can turn the brush opacity down um, and have way more control over the ink bleed in certain areas. So you could paint over this, paint over whatever. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much the gist of this effect. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys, um, you know, 
this quick, uh, uh, a nice quick and dirty <laughs> uh, effect that I found out here. And once you're done with all this, you can go ahead and duplicate your background um, and then merge them all together. Just because um, if you're using the threshold, um, it won't work um, unless you, let's say you merged um, only the design with the threshold, it won't work unless you include the background in it. Um, so yeah, so just group all these um, by pressing Command G, Command J to duplicate and Command E to merge. So now we have the design with the ink lead all in one layer. If you want, um, uh, you could you could select all the white and, and delete it out. I'm not going to do that just because I think it's fine the way it is. I don't need to edit this anymore. I'm just going to add a uh, photocopy texture on this just like I did in my last video. So let me go to textures. Where is it? I'm going to use the same one. Um, yeah, just scale this up. Um, same technique, duplicate this, make the top one lighten, make the bottom one darken. Oh, oops, <laughs> uh, invert the bottom one. I was confused for a sec. <laughs> um, so yeah, turn the opacity down on the bottom one and then go into the layers, I mean the levels of this top one and just mess with it. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Uh, pretty, pretty quick effect and produces some nice results. So yeah, uh, if you guys use this, I'd love to see what you make. Uh, please tag me in any of your any of your Instagram posts, any of your posters. Um, that's about it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.